Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a quick review and test of this DWIL paint. This is a wood-like finish type paint, and I do have to mention that they did send this out to me for this review, so I'm very happy to actually go ahead and test this out. So if you guys are trying to paint furniture in a way that looks like real wood, this is the type of thing that you guys would want to use. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And then after that, we're gonna actually go paint some wood and see how the results turn out. So we have some sanding paper, it looks like, some paint rollers, we have some painter's tape, some gloves, and even a paint roller stick. So we have a bunch of accessories included in here. They even gave us what looks like a little miniature paint tray. So that's really neat. This looks like a glove, maybe for texture or paint. We will see about that later once I actually read the manual of this. We have the actual star of the show, the wood look paint, and we get a total of 10 ounces of it. So pretty good deal there. Here's the top coat. We get 16 ounces of that, and that will just make sure that everything's nice and smooth and secure and durable. And the biggest container is the wood base. This is a giant 32 ounce kit. All of these are gonna be used together. So you guys get more of this because this is probably gonna be the paint that you're gonna be using the most. Of course, they give you a little instruction kit here. So if you guys don't know how to do this, they got you covered right there. And then I believe this is like some sort of masking tape and plastic just to help protect surfaces while you guys are painting. So that's what that looks like. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the garage whenever we start painting a little test block of wood. All right, so we're gonna be testing this kit out on this little nightstand thing or end table. We have the base paint that we're gonna be using first. And according to this, we're gonna want to clean that off with a degreaser. And if you guys have a rough wood top, you guys would want to sand it as well before you guys apply the base coat. But I'm just gonna be able to use the degreaser because this is not real wood. And then we'll use the base coat. Make sure that you guys stir all of this very well before you guys use it. The base coat's gonna take about two hours to dry before we could do the wood texture look. And the wood texture is gonna take eight hours to dry. So. Let's get started with this. Then I'll tune back in with you guys whenever we're doing the actual coat that looks like wood. So the paint's all stirred up. Right now, I'm just gonna make sure that the top is nice and clean. So right now, I'm just gonna use this to make sure that there's no gunk on here that will affect the paint. All right, so now I'm just gonna paint the top with this brush. And it seems to be like a light brown color right now. So we're gonna go in the same direction all across the top of this. And this seems to be a very thick paint, which I like and it really helps coat a lot of surface area really fast. All right, so I just did a very light coat on the top of this, and I think we're good. And then I'll get back to you guys in two hours whenever this is dry to do the actual wood texture on the top of here. All right, so for the next layer, we're gonna be using the wood look, and then they want us to use the glove with this little mat right here. So basically, I'm gonna shake this wood paint up, and then we're gonna pour it in here, and then use the glove, and we're gonna go along the wood strokes that we want. All right, so now we're gonna put on the glove like so. We have some of the wood look paint right there. Now we're just gonna gently rub it across. Let's go ahead. We're gonna dip the glove in here very gently, and pull up, and very carefully wipe across the top. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more. All right, guys, so right now it already looks like it has some wood grain to it, all thanks to this glove and this little tray. So. Now we're gonna let this dry for eight hours and then we're gonna put the top coat on it and then we're gonna be done. And before I go, here's just another quick preview of what it looks like as of right now. Just a reminder, before it looked like that. So that is what it looks like even without a clear coat. All right, so next we're gonna use the top coat and this will basically protect the surface and just seal it up very nicely. But really it's not gonna change the way it looks too much. It's just gonna add a little bit of a shine to it. So overall, I am super impressed. This thing is still drying, but it definitely does look like a wood texture. It has like a wood grain look to it. And I was really surprised by how easy this was to install. And that's just a closer look at some of the edges where you could really see that wood grain look. And just keep in mind that that is what it used to look like. And now it looks like that.